Hi friends! Today is Tuesday, June 2nd. This video is an introduction to our math lesson for today, which is lesson 15-6. So in math, you guys have been working on step up to first grade, and today we're going to do something else that's going to get our brains ready for first grade. I'm going to give you a word problem using cubes, and you guys are going to help me solve it to get us started in thinking about what we're going to do today. All right, so Miss Munn found some cubes on her table. She found four purple cubes, one red cube, and four blue cubes. How many cubes does she have in all? All right, I noticed something different about this equation. When I'm going to add these groups together, normally I have two groups that I'm joining, but this time I have three. I have a purple group, a red group, and a blue group. So today's activity is all about adding three numbers together, not just two, which can be a little bit tricky. So let's write an equation that matches my word problem. Miss Munn said that there are four purple cubes plus one red cube plus four blue cubes. In order to solve this equation, first I need to start with two numbers because I can't really add them all together all at once. So first in my head I'm going to say, well, I know 4 plus 1 equals 5 and 5 plus 4 equals 9. I added two numbers together first, figured out the sum in my brain, and then added the other group. Now we're going to do another example. If I have cubes, then I can use cubes to help me. I can draw pictures to solve. We're going to be talking today about how whenever you have three add-ins or three numbers that you're adding together, you want to make sure that you add two together first. So in this example, Miss Munn decided, well, I see eight plus two plus three. First, I'm going to add eight plus two together. What is eight plus two? If you guys are saying 10, then you are correct. If I know 8 plus 2 equals 10, now I can do 10 plus 3. Anything plus 10 is usually pretty easy to solve. 10 plus 3 equals 13. So I added two numbers together, then added the third add end, and I came up with my answer. Let's do another example down here. I have the same equation. But this time, instead of adding 8 plus 2 first, I decided to add 2 plus 3 first. So you're just going to find whichever two numbers you want to add first. I know 2 plus 3 equals 5, so now I just have to do 8 plus 5. I'm going to solve by putting 8 in my brain, 5 on my fingers. I'm going to say 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 8 plus 5 equals 13. I added in a different order, but I ended up with the same sum because all of my add-ins are the same. If I have the same add-ins, I end up with the same sum. All right? Now today, you're also going to have equations on your activity that looks like this. Oh, so this is a little tricky and this is definitely something new. Usually, we're used to equations being written side to side. But today, we're going to look at first grade addition problems where they go up and down. Now, if I see my equation written up and down, don't let that trick you. It's the same exact thing as it being written side to side. My plus sign is here, and then I have my equal sign, which is represented by this line down here. In your activity today, they're going to ask you to circle two numbers to add together first. So, for example, I'm going to say, hmm, I think I want to add 6 plus 2 first. So I circle those two numbers and I say, hmm, what's 6 plus 2? 6 in my brain, 7, 8. 6 plus 2 equals 8. So this square over here is where you write the answer. 6 plus 2 equals 8. Now I need to add 8 plus 5, just like I did before, 8 in my brain, 5 on my fingers, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. My answer is 13. 
All right, so now let's do another example. Here I see five plus six plus five. There's only one plus sign, but if I see my plus sign down here, I know I'm adding all three numbers together. I think I'm going to add five plus five first because I know that five plus five equals 10 and any equation that has 10 as an add end is usually pretty easy to solve. So five plus five equals 10. I write that answer in the box over here and now I could do 10 plus six. 10 plus six equals 16. All right, so here's what your problems are going to look like today. You're going to practice solving problem addition equations with three add-ins. So it's really going to challenge your brain today. If you're finding it to be a little tricky, it's okay. Just do your best. Keep working hard, and we will continue to practice this the rest of the week and next year when you guys are in first grade. So good luck. Do your best, and let me know if you guys have any questions. Have a good day.